Media for Development of Lifting Technology. Today I have the pleasure to show you the product development process of our big brother, the Master 5.5, by taking you on a small tour through some of the stages here in Mana. So I would say follow me and let's get started right at the bottom of the process, the development department. So we're now in the development department. Since safety has always had the highest priority for us, we are very meticulous when it comes down to component design. Uh, what this exactly means, we'll show you the clip. Hello everyone, my name is Jukle King Nanfa. The static calculation was performed during the Master 5.5 concept phase, taking maximum low distribution according to the IN 1493 into account. Here is, for example, the uh, FM simulation for the column. The reason this FM simulation was done was so we know exactly where the maximum stresses or the maximum deflection or core. Well, of course, we trust in all of our designs, but we still need to verify every single component. And that's why we're now going to have a look at the test facility. area of the testing department for lifting technology. This is the place where all our products and components are put through their paces. I now hand over to Christian. He will tell you a little bit more about our testing requirements. Hello, my name is Christian. I'm the head of the lifting technology testing department. In addition to the standard and safety test, according to the EN 4093 test, for example, static, dynamic, and overload tests, we carry out the endurance test for the Master 5.5 lift here. During the endurance test, it is important that all components and the entire lifts demonstrate that they can achieve the least 22,000 cycles with rated load. Once the endurance test is complete, the entire lift and the individual components are dismantled and analyzed. Here we are focusing on rear, tier and damage of the individual components. Now that we have gained a little insight in the development and the testing process, our next stop on the tour is the production department here at the welding robots. This is where all of our columns and carriages are welded. By using mechanical welds, we can guarantee a maximum of durability and safety to all of our products. So now let's see how a column is welded. So now that the columns and the carriages are welded, the next step in the production process of the Master 5.5 is the powder coating. Behind me, you can see our state-of-the-art powder coating plant. So let's see what's happening inside there.
had a short look at the powder coating process, which involves hanging up the parts, sandblasting if required, drying, powder coat application, and baking in the furnace. Once our column is done, we will come back to that part. Now that our columns have been powder coated, we are here at the assembly line. This is where the final assembly takes place. The process being demonstrated here is how the pre-assembled lifting carriage is assembled into the columns. Every single lift here at Maha has to undergo a complete functional test and a visual inspection. Once these tests are passed, our lifts are getting packed and sent out to our customers. Since we meet the high quality requirements throughout the entire product development process, we as a manufacturer can confirm with a clear conscience that we comply with all applicable directives and standards, fully in line with the motto, safety, and that's served with Maha.